yeah. That's about exactly what we thought it was going to be. That's it, sort of, kind of. Did they hit the grass? Yeah. In the air? Yep. Yeah, it did. I can tell you from right here it did. It takes about seven seconds to get over here. And that's about exactly where he hit it. Pretty sweet. Actually, amazing, actually, is the word. It, it is. is. It is crazy. The Rap Soto device, this is the hitting monitor. We put it, they call this the tank. Uh, the tank is just the, sort of the structure with this plexiglass on the back of it. Uh, you're, you set it up 14 feet away from the plate. Uh, you could pitch. The reason you would use the tank is because you could actually put a pitcher out there or a pitching machine out there, and you could throw over the top of it. And if they hit that ball into the tank, it, it, it supposedly wouldn't break this thing. Now, uh, we haven't hit it yet, but it does. It's, it's actually really heavy, and it feels quite solid. You put it 14 feet away. You calibrate it. Uh, it has inside of here, it has, you can see the camera. Green light means it's ready to capture some data. That, that is connected on the back side of this. Uh, you can sort of see in there, there's a wire that comes out of there. It just looks like a USB cable, because it is. And then it comes in here and connects back to this. This is the computer part of it. They refer to it as the RCE. Not sure what that stands for, but it doesn't matter. Rapsodo CE. So that, that is then uh, has, it has some Wi-Fi capabilities in it. It gets that data after it captures it, and it actually sends it over to your iPad or if you have a PC or whatever it might be. All right, so hit one. Um, one thing to notice, and I'm gonna stand right over here, trying to get hit in the face. Uh, see that green light? All right, right when he hits, you'll see it turns blue while it's recording uh, data, and then it turns red while it's sort of transferring and processing it. So go ahead and swing. So there's the hit. Uh, kind of hard to tell here that you didn't see it turn red and green, but right now it's red, uh, and the data's already up. So it was quick, uh, quicker than I thought it was gonna be. But there you go, so that ball, 630 RPMs, 63 feet, uh, sorry, 63.8 miles an hour, 174 feet off of a tee. That, my friends, is how this bad boy right, works. Here we go. So again, we're just trying to test some of the accuracy or get a feel for how accurate this thing is. That was a line drive over shortstop's head, and then it will show you the trajectory of that ball. Line drive. So uh, rock and roll, we'll see how this one goes. Oh, I don't know. That's, I'm going to say 150. Oh, look at that. What a guess. 149. Uh, that's it. And if you can see the trajectory of the ball, you can change this. You can see here. I mean, that's the, oh, the glare is terrible. That's the, that's the trajectory that, that, that hit. That was sweet. That's, ex I mean, that was exactly, I think exactly right. The grounder. That looked right. Here we go. Uh, you know, out there in the middle of the field. Let's see if it gives us a reading. 56 miles an hour. I saw that ball spinning from left to right. It was it was like a... Can we go to the spin? Because I swear I saw that thing spin. Oh, that is exactly how I saw that ball spinning, by the way. I saw it spinning weird. It was really weird. I thought, I thought it was a weird spin. I mean, that's exactly what that ball looked like. Fa absolutely fascinating. All right, let's try it. Let's try that one because that's fun. It's fun. I'm gonna see if I can see that. Get this. Get the spin. Another spin. Another spin that was sort of out. You know, it kind of, it kind of spun out, and that's exactly what that hit looked like. And the spin is on this other tab. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. Notice the strike zone down here. Now we're off a tee, so it's always gonna say that ball is right there. But when you're actually taking pitches, it's pretty cool because it will show you different ones. Let's try to. Let's hit a grounder to second base. Like, don't even think about it. Just. Hit a grounder right over there. Just like move your feet and hit a grounder. And let's just see if we get, I just want to see what it says. Just about hit the machine, because he was trying to hit the second base. Yeah, there you go. It bounced on the ground, right? Negative 23 degrees. I was going 54 miles an hour with top spin. Yeah, that's exactly what, that's exactly what it just did. Uh, let's try to pull one down the line. Like let's pull one on the third base line. Let's see if it picks it up. Let's see if it picks it up. Okay, we got a little grounder to third base. Let's see if it picks up a grounder to third base. No, did not pick up a grounder to third base. Try that again. Try to hit a line drive over there. Try to hit a line drive on the third base line. Let's see what happens. All right, shot. Let's see if it see if it's smart enough. Yeah, there it goes. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the hit. 169 feet. That was, that's pretty sweet. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to fool it. How can we fool it? 
No, I didn't like that one either. Didn't even pick up a swing. Try to hit a pop-up. I mean, like, straight up in the air. Oh, yeah, this, these, these tees are awesome, by the way. These Tanner tees, we love these things. This is a mega. Okay, so we're going to try to hit a softball hit straight up in the air and see if we can get anything. Okay. Oh, it's reading something. That was a pop out of the pitcher. I, I would be shocked if it got it. Yeah, no way. No way it got it. Okay. That's, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> That's perfect. I'm not disappointed. I did not get that. All right, let's try, let's try to rake one. Let's see. Let's just see what we get. Just... All right, that's a shot. You know, for a tee and a mush ball. Let's see if we get it. 169 feet. Kind of look like that. Kind of look like that. Kind of look like that. I mean, that's that's it, man. That's it. And see, and see how now the pitch is higher because we moved the tee up a little bit. It's just, it's accurate. It's fun. You can also put a. Uh, there's a tripod you can mount behind if you're using like a TI. I think this this just seems easier for us. Yeah, it, you know, it's already set. You don't have to worry as mi about many angles because that camera in there is already set to be perfectly uh, perpendicular, or I should say, horizontal to the ground, I guess, um, or parallel to the ground. Well, whatever you think about that. But it's it's set up mostly correct. You just got to make sure it's on a flat surface. Um, so that, that's, anyway, that's super useful. We just like the tank. Um, it just seems to be a little more Another convenient. Another feature you get out of this, if you're using the iPad version, it doesn't come on the, the uh, uh, computer version, but it's the, it's the ability to take a picture, a video of it. Um, and you saw that video right down there. And we'll try and paste that video inside of our video. Here's that video. You can see they just overlay the data on that swing, so you can go back and review it later. We absolutely love the data you can get on this thing. The scatter chart is so cool to look at. Uh, nothing else provides stuff like that. We like the tank more than we like the tripod that goes behind the plate, but we can see why the tripod might be useful sometimes. It looks, the tank is just convenient. It seems indestructible. We're not uh, willing to try if it is or not, but we think we think it would be. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it seems like a simple device. It's portable. It's easy to set up. It's seamless with the app so far, and the reports you get on the app or on the computer app is it just absolutely beautiful. Uh, we love the device. Uh, they're, they're, it's hard to not love it when you're getting data that you've never been given before, and we fully expect that Repsoto will uh, dominate the market for a good time to come.